I don't know if I can do it again though. When it comes to the world of streaming, it is a lot more complicated than you might realize. Because while it can absolutely be done for fun, if you're able to do things a certain way, you're gonna find yourself making a lot of money. Just look at someone like Ninja, and you'll see exactly what you can do with these streaming platforms. However, that doesn't mean that you can go and do just about anything, because as one streamer found out, breaking the rules can cost you a lot of money. Allow us to show you how this famous streamer was fined $500,000. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number three, the Twitch situation. When Twitch said they were closely monitoring the hot tub meta, no one ever expected their verdict to come unannounced, least of all in this fashion. Arguably the biggest hot tub streamer, Amoranth, had her channel demonetized that left others in a bit of turmoil. Twitch never confirmed that the demonetization was a penalty for her suggestive content, but it's not too difficult to assume. They were in hot water ever since people started abusing the TOS to turn hot tub stream into something of a meta. The Amazon owned streaming platform claimed they were closed monitoring the situation, and it is not until now that concrete action has been taken against any of the streamers. For someone like Amorath, ad revenue racks up to a large amount losing which may be significantly damaging. Suspending advertisements on her channel will close a big income avenue for her that Twitch assumed will probably demotivate other streamers into following the hot tub meta. Number two, the losses. According to Amaranth herself, ads on her channel generate somewhere between $35,000 to $40,000, which adds up to nearly about a half a million dollars a year. $500,000 will be a big dent in anyone's income, especially for a full-time Twitch streamer. Demonetization certainly spells trouble for her despite having other sources of income, including donations, bits, subscriptions, sponsorships, and most importantly, only fans. The fact that she is well off without the ad revenue is nothing too absurd and certainly something that she can live with. But this is just one more example that Twitch is making of her and how this is going to serve as a warning to other streamers to watch what you do and show, because it absolutely can come back to haunt you in the financial realm. Number one, going over the line. So let's ask the honest question here. Was what she did crossing the line? In a certain way, yes. Because if you really think about it, one of the hardest things about being a streamer is getting attention. You usually have to do things to get people's attention or work the long game and slowly build up your fan base with your personality and style of gaming or other things. There usually isn't a lot of shortcuts to getting that kind of attention. But because someone like her was using their body in a hot tub while doing other things, yeah, that will get you attention and a lot of money from people who go for that sort of thing, as they say. Now, some would argue that she isn't breaking any laws and is just using what she has, but it's the message it sends that is the issue here in the eyes of many, because this is about someone using their body to get money and all but guaranteeing that others will do the same to get money and attention from other viewers. That's a dangerous and somewhat disturbing trend to send and thus Twitch cracked down on it. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the streamer and how her hot tub stream has now cost her half of a million dollars? Are you shocked that this happened? Do you think that Twitch was being a little overbearing here or did she cross the line in order to get attention? And as a result of that, she needed to be punished like she was. Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we will see you next time on the channel.